Today we're going to talk about is vector analysis. So what is a vector? Well, a vector is any quantity that has both direction and magnitude. Uh, what does that mean? Well, magnitude is how big something is. It's how fast, how much, how hard. For example, uh, 30 miles an hour, 85 pounds, $9.99. The direction is which way is it going? Some values don't have direction. Um, an example of that is like $9.99 has no direction. It's just money or 62 minutes it doesn't have a direction on the other hand 30 miles an hour uh, 30 miles an hour to the east or 85 pounds down are have direction so 35 miles an hour to the east is opposite of 30 miles an hour to the west 85 pounds down is different than 85 pounds horizontal they're just different directions so force vectors are going, we're going to look at them but we have to first look at free body diagrams so what we're going to do is we're going to take this sled that's being pulled by a force at 30 degrees from the horizontal so we can actually redraw that as a free body diagram again we uh, represent this sled as a dot and it's being pulled up to the uh, up and to the right uh, by 30 degrees and you have your normal force and you have your gravity pulling down so Again, let's go over how to draw free body diagrams. We will have to do that again and again. So, step one, we draw a dot. That represents whatever object we're looking at. Then we list all the fat forces acting on that object. Then we decide on a scale. Let's say, you know, one inch equals 10 pounds. Um, that could be an easy scale. Then we draw all our arrows in the correct directions. Gravity pulling down, normal force pulling up. Uh, or pulling perpendicular to the surface and in my applied force which is that little uh, rope being pulled at 30 degrees and make sure I mark that angle now in this unit we're gonna be talking a lot about, about trigonometry so we're gonna have to do some review on it it's not hard trig it's just a little bit so first off sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees that's an easy one um, and then we have Pythagorean's theorem that a squared a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That means that the adjacent squared times the op, uh, plus the opposite side squared is equal to my hypotenuse squared. Well here, um, then we have our trigonometry review, so Katoa. The sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine of my angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. If you don't know these already, write them down, please. Now, here's what's cool the magnitude of the of our forces are always going to be represented as a hypotenuse and so what we can do is we can break them into their components my f sub x and f sub y so our f our x component and our y component of our force vectors now uh, if they are always in the x then the y doesn't have a number but if it's in any angle outside of being 90 or 0 these uh, it will have some f of sub y and f sub x. Now remember, when we add these, we have to add it using Pythagoras. f sub x plus f sub y does not equal this number. It's going to be f sub x squared plus f sub y squared is equal to my magnitude squared. We have to use it by Pythagorean's theorem. So let's do a practice problem. Five, find the f sub x and f sub y if the magnitude of the force is 12 pounds and its direction is 30 degrees from the horizontal. So I have to draw my 30 degrees. I have a, my force vector going into 12. So I'm going to do, so we have our, our, trig, our trig functions. Sine of my, is opposite over hypotenuse and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I'm going to use the cosine first to find the x component. So f sub x. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that the cosine of my angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, I know some of my stuff. I know that I know the hypotenuse is 12, and I know my angle is 30. So the cosine of 30 is equal to adjacent over 12. Well, I can actually calculate what that adjacent is, and I can actually rearrange that algebraically, pull the 12 over, and it's cosine 30 degrees times 12 gives me my adjacent, which is 10.4. Now, I can repeat that same step for my sine or my y component. So I can use sine of my opposite, uh, sine of the angles opposite over hypotenuse. So then I plug in again my numbers, sine of 30 degrees is equal to opposite over 12 pounds, rearrange, pull and solve for the opposite side, and that gives me my six pounds. 
So what does this mean? Well, it means that if I pull 10.4 pounds horizontally and 6 pounds vertically, I would be as if I'm pulling 12 pounds in the third off of 30 degrees. They are exactly the same thing. 10.4 plus 6 is going to be 12. But you're like, wait, no. 10.4 plus 6 does not, that's 16.4. No, no, remember, this is triangles, so we have to add them uh, using Pythagorean's theorem. 10.4 squared plus 6 squared is equal to 12 squared. So this is a little bit different than, you know, your traditional, you know, uh, elementary school addition where it's 10.4 plus 6 equals 16.4. That That's not the correct way of doing it. Um, we have to use these trigs to do this. We call this vector addition. So let's go a little bit more complex. Let's have two horses instead of just one person pulling. So you have two draft horses pulling a tree stump uh, with a force of 250 pounds and a 280 pounds as shown below. If the angle between the force is 60 degrees, then what is the magnitude of the resultant force and what is the angle of that force? So we're looking at two different questions. What is the magnitude and then what is the angle? So, first thing we need to do is we need to break up our two forces. We have to take horse 1, and we're going to break that up. Well, horse 1 is only traveling in the x direction. It's pulling 280 pounds to the right. There is no y component. That makes it really easy. But horse 2 is a little bit more complex. Horse 2 is pulling with a, at an angle at 60 degrees, at 250 pounds at 60 degrees. So we're going to use, we're going to look for the horizontal component, and then the vertical. So we're going to use the angle of 60 degrees, and we're going to say the cosine of 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 250. So I plug that in. I do some rearranging. I pull my 250 over. 250 cosine 60 is equal to my adjacent side, which is 125. Now I repeat the same exact thing with my uh, vertical component. And that's my vertical component or my opposite side. And the sine of 60 degrees is equal to opposite over 250. So I take it and move my algebraically over. 250 times sine of 60 degrees is equal to 216.5 pounds. So again, sine of my angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of my is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, once we got that, that only tells us the components I got a component up at 216.5 and a horizontal at 125 and a 280 also horizontal. So what we need to do is sum up all the forces. We need to add all those forces up so that they all equal something. So we're going to take all my x's of horse, all my forces in the x direction of horse 1 and horse 2 and add those up. So my 280 and then we're going to take my plus my 125 and that will equal 330 uh, three pounds. Then we take um, the y component. Uh, horse one didn't add anything in the up down direction, so that's zero plus the 216.5 in the vertical direction. That just equals 216.5. So now I have a combined their two forces in the one in the x and one in the y. The x is going to be 333 pounds and my y is 216.5. Now we got to combine those two forces, those two vectors that we got, the two components, sorry, the two components, and put it into a vector. So we got to combine it into one hypotenuse, one arrow. So we have our force y, which is 216.5, and we have our x at 330. We don't know its angle, and we don't know how many pounds in the horizontal. And this is the ultimate question what is the magnitude, and what is the angle? So this one is really easy because we know this side and we know that side, so we can use Pythagorean's theorem. 216.5 squared plus 333 squared is going to equal c squared, my hypotenuse. So I put that in my calculator and it comes out as 397.2 for my hypotenuse. That is the total force being pulled on this stump. That is what the stump is feeling. But what angle is it feeling at? Well, this one, we're going to use our tangent function. We know our opposite and adjacent. So we know the tangent of my angle is opposite over adjacent is equal to my angle. So we say tangent of my 
of my angle is equal to 216.5 over 333. Now I put that in my calculator and I can type I can type that into your calculator and we can just uh, get that as a decimal of 0.65 but then we what we have to do is we have to do the opposite of tangent which is inverse tangent so we take the inverse tangent of points of uh, 0.65 or you know 216.5 divided by 33 333 and we're going to get an angle of 33 degrees so that means that i am pulling with a force of 397.2 pounds at an angle of 33 degrees so the combined force of these two horses individually couldn't pull that much but combined together they're going to create a force of 397.2 pounds and they're going to pull that stump 33 degrees relative to the her, uh, vertical and it will pop it out in that direction so the stump won't like kick back and hit one of the horses now that was a lot of work that was a lot of math if you need to re-watch this video that was a lot of trig and it went fairly quickly now you can also go to this website and this website has a whole lot of practice problems and you can actually go through these and they're very very similar where they have uh, these vector problems um, and a whole bunch of them and it's not just one but it's a bunch of them where you can go through and go through 34 of these. They will give you the answers and you can actually get audio guided solutions to them. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and uh, ask them and uh, write them down and ask me in class.